<clears throat> I think one of the books to spotlight some more Puerto Rican literature, one of the books that um really uh, had an impact to me, on me was um, Puerto Rico, a, po a Political and Cultural History by Arturo Morales Carrion. Carrion is C-A-R-R-I with a little accented O and um, it's a 1984 book, September 1794. It's Puerto Rico, a political and cultural history. Um, the political aspects of the book was what really my focus was on, is that it provided uh, an in-depth portrayal of the struggles in the political system, the struggles of being an oppressed colony, and the resilience in the midst of all that to survive. Um, it embraces what currently um, affects Puerto Rico and that Puerto Rico has been abandoned, basically. And in that abandonment, um, it's held hostage um, because it cannot um, dictate its own destiny and cannot thrive. So you have no infrastructure, you have continuous um, economic problems because it was thriving, tobacco, sugar um, area. Tobacco, sugar, and some, some one other crop, I forget what it is. Coffee, 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 coffee. It's known for coffee, um, tobacco, sugar, and coffee. And what was interesting back then, um, which is current dilemma is that you know it's a rich fertile land but people always starved um, so my biggest thing about um, Arturo Morales' book Arturo is A-R-T-U-R-O Morales is M-O-R-A-L-E-S about his book was the um, Pedro Abesus Campo a dilemma um, this dude political activist um, ended up um, going ahead and struggling um, he was um, basically sentenced uh, to jail and also tortured it, it is alleged um, so let me read a portion of the book um, Abyssus Campos Having served in the term of his term in Atlanta and refused to ask for pardon, had returned to Puerto Rico. More than ever, he favored direct revolutionary action in the face of the electoral strategy of the PIP. As soon as he arrived in Puerto Rico, he let it, he let it be known that Munoz had to be stopped. His small band of nationalists had been in in crisp, I don't know what it, during the during his years in jail in conspicuous um, during his years in jail but they had built a considerable sympathy for the cause in Latin America the Cold War had helped their propaganda and many anti-American forces throughout the world led the led by communists were willing to accept the prima facie the claims that Puerto Rico was occupied by U.S. troops and ruled by U.S. puppets. For Albesus, independence could only be achieved through revolutionary action spurred by resolute personal sacrifice. So, it was one of the books that I loved not loved because I like reading. It was a hard book to read, to tell you the truth. But for informational purposes, that's what it was. It's, it gave you a panoramic view, in-depth analysis, in-depth portrayal of what it looked like in Puerto Rico since the inception of the colonial powers of the United States being having come to the island and taken it over. So it's interesting. Um, just hoping you get to um, see, read the book. Um, if you go to archive.org, um, you could actually read the book and a lot of books. Um, 
didn't know it until I tried it today because I had lost my copy of the book. I was somewhere in the house. I keep, I've been looking for it for over eight months, somewhere in here. So I said, well, let me see if I can pull up a copy. And sure enough, there is a website that actually has the pages and you can read and borrow the book for free. Uh, and it's interesting, I didn't know that it existed, so um, I'm about to return the book. It's an electronic version, you can read it on your screen, tablets, whatever. But it's a way to have books at no cost. Um, and it's the books that you're not going to find nowadays. People who don't, scholars don't, I don't know what happened, but people are not looking back into history as they used to. But this is an important book and one that impacted me when I was studying sociology, Puerto Rican studies in Brooklyn College. Thanks. Hope it helps.